right, hello, hello guys. Today we are talking through a mental preparation technique that a hiker can use to help alleviate stresses and anxieties and even fears leading into any of their adventures. So whether you're worried about getting bitten by a snake, whether you're worried about heights, whether you're worried about unstable terrain, spending your first night in a tent, dealing with attitude or whatever it may be, whatever is causing you stress, this hopefully should give you a decent idea or a good technique to aim for. Now, the inspiration behind this episode is a bit of a funny one. So a couple of weekends ago, before I got a little bit crook, um, I went on the hike with a few good mates that I hadn't seen since lockdown. And we were just catching up, we are talking about a whole bunch of stuff, and then for whatever reason, the idea of uh, babies came up. You know, four blokes talking about babies, as, as normal as it may be. But I think um, I think my mate's sister was having a baby or something like that. And then somehow we got on to the subject of uh, difficulties birthing. And then we got onto the subject of mental preparation and some modern approaches to um, dealing with the, the terror and the fear of being in birth. And obviously, you know, for blokes, again, not really experts on the matter. But my mate was telling me something his sister had told me, who is an expert in the matter. And she was saying something that people are doing more and more these days, uh, doing a little bit of mental preparation training leading into births, because it's an incredibly unknown thing. And people are worried about what's going to happen. They're worried about you know, how they're going to cope with certain situations and all of that. And so, so his sister had told him that some of the trainings they're doing at the moment is just simply just go through all the worst case scenarios and all the things that could potentially go wrong and go through with the, the, the lady or the mother who's going to have the baby and talk through, if this is, happens, this is what we're going to do. And if this happens, this is what we're going to do. And they talk them through so they have an idea of what to expect, but also what to expect if things do go wrong. And apparently, according to my mate's sister, was since people going through these techniques, it's been very, very effective at reducing birthing times, it's been very effective about reducing the emotional and mental costs in these situations, and it's been very effective for a whole bunch of different things. And it was funny that he mentioned this, because this is something I've been talking about with a client, not related to birthing, but related to hiking, and it's something that I want to share with you today. Now, a really, really effective way of dealing with anxiety, stresses, and fearful situations on the trail is sitting down and really, really recognizing what can potentially cause you difficulty and sitting down and writing out a big old list of things that potentially are going to scare you. Are you scared of heights? Are you scared of blowing out your knee? Are you scared of snow? Are you scared of slipping and falling? And literally writing down every single thing that's causing you a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of stress. Now, once they're all written out, the next step is then to plan out an action plan for that particular situation and in the worst case scenario. So for example, if you were worried about blowing out your knee, then you plan out, you say, okay, if it's day two, worst case scenario, I take a wrong step, I blow out my knee in a really, really bad situation, exactly what am I gonna do in this situation to get myself out of there? Now it might be, hey, I'm gonna split myself up, hey, I'm gonna activate my PLB, hey, it might be a case of just getting my mate to carry me to the rest stop or getting on the mobile phone, but writing out a really, really detailed plan for this situation. Same thing if you have a slip or a fall, like what are you gonna do in that situation? What are you gonna to say to yourself when you have a slip, when you get up, how are you gonna get yourself back in the game? What are you gonna to do to make sure your body is feeling good? And if something does go wrong, what are you gonna to do to overcome that issue? The same thing with if you're scared of heights. You know, imagine yourself in that situation. You're up there, the heights getting on top of you, feeling dodgy. What's the worst thing that can happen? Is it going to be a case of you passing out? Is it going to be a case of you falling over? Is it going to be a case of whatever? And then in that situation, imagine that. And then imagine what you're going to have to do to deal with it. And the intention here is you're sort of trying to do some desensitization in the sense of you're imagining yourself going through these terrible things and you're doing it in a controlled environment where you can sort of expose yourself to that stress. But also, you're coming up with solutions and active solutions. So that unknown, that thing that's just causing you, you know, a big amount of stress and fear, but you don't really know about it. Now you do know about it. You've exposed it. You know what you need to do in this situation and you have a plan of attack coming ahead. Sure, it might still be a dodgy situation and sure, it might still feel 
um, still give you a bit of stress and anxiety, but more likely than not, it's gonna help reduce things. It's gonna help you feel more confident, more capable, and it's gonna be very, very effective to help reduce these stresses leading into your trip. So I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're leading into a big trip or even if it's just a weekend trip and you've got things that are causing you stress, recognize them, identify them, write them down and then write down an action plan in the worst case scenario. What are you going to do to overcome these issues? Write it down, get a plan and once you've done it all, I guarantee you, you're going to feel much, much better about it all. So give it a crack let me know and I really do think it will help you. Now, if you have enjoyed this little tip on mental strength and mental preparation and you want to learn a little bit more about this stuff, I highly recommend you come and join the Training for Hiking and Trekking Facebook group. Now, in this group, I load up loads of extra content around training, around nutrition, around mental strength and exercises and all of that leading into your hiking adventures. It's a great community we're building. We've got loads of hikers doing similar adventures. Everyone's building each other up. Everyone's connecting and everyone's having a great time. So I highly recommend you come join that group, the Training for Hiking and Trekking Facebook group. I'll leave a link for it in the show notes below, but I really do think it'll be a great addition to anyone listening to this podcast to get a little bit more. So thank you so much for listening today. Hope you got a little bit out of it and talk to you very soon.